Hey, hello everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the definite articles in Spanish. Okay, so let's start. In English, we only have one definite article, and this article is the article the. In Spanish, we have four different definite articles, okay? And these articles are el, la, los, las. So, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about each one of them, okay? So, let's start with the first one. We have el, el, el. When are we going to use it? When we want to give a male gender to our noun, okay? When we're talking about singular and when we want to give a male gender to our noun. So now let's see some examples. Here we have the kid or the boy in English. In Spanish, we're going to say el niño, el niño, el niño. We're talking about a male, okay? That's why we're using the definite article in Spanish, el, el, because the gender of the noun is male, okay? And we're talking about singular. So, when we're talking about singular and we want to give a male gender to our noun, then we're going to use the article el, el in Spanish. Now, we have the baby in English. In Spanish, we're going to say el bebé, el bebé. El bebé. We are talking about a male baby. That's why we put the definite article in Spanish. El. El bebé. Now the next one is a blackboard or the board in English. In Spanish, we're going to say el pizarrón. El pizarrón. El pizarrón. Now we have the sun in English and Spanish. We're going to say el sol, el sol, el sol, el sol. Now we have the dog in English and Spanish. We're going to say el perro, el perro, el perro. Now we have the cat. In English and Spanish, we're going to say el gato, el gato, el gato. In English, we say the car. In Spanish, we can say el carro or el auto. Okay, we can say el carro, el carro, el carro or el auto, el auto, okay? Now we have the subway. In English and Spanish, we're going to say el metro, el metro, el metro. In English, we're going to say the train. In Spanish, we're going to say el tren, el tren, el tren. In English, we say the cab. In Spanish, we're going to say el taxi, el taxi, el taxi. In English, we say the refrigerator. In Spanish, we're going to say el refrigerador. El refrigerador. El refrigerador. Also, in English, if we want to contract this word, then we're going to say the fridge. In Spanish, we can do the same. Contract this word into something smaller. 
and we can say el refri, el refri, el refri. Now we have the microwave oven or the microwave. In English and Spanish, we're going to say el horno de microondas, el horno de microondas, el horno de microondas. In English, we say the sky. In Spanish, we're going to say el cielo, el cielo, el cielo. In English, we say hell. In Spanish, we're going to say el infierno, el infierno, el infierno. In English, we say the time. The time. In Spanish, we're going to say el tiempo. El tiempo. El tiempo. In English, we say the clock or the watch. In Spanish, we're going to say el reloj. El reloj. El reloj. In English, we say the remote control. In Spanish, we're going to say el control remoto. El control remoto. El control remoto. In English, we say the couch. In Spanish, we're going to say el sillón. El sillón. El sillón. In English, we say the mattress. In Spanish, we're going to say el colchón. El colchón. El colchón. In English, we say the hat. In Spanish, we're going to say el sombrero. El sombrero. El sombrero. In English, we say the apartment. In Spanish, we're going to say el departamento. El departamento. El departamento. In English, we say the teacher. In Spanish, we're going to say el maestro. El maestro. El maestro. Because we're talking about a male teacher, okay? All right, so now let's go to our next definite article in Spanish, okay? The definite article is la, 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 okay? As we saw before, we're going to use el when we're talking about male, okay? And we're going to use la when we're talking about female. So the gender of this article is female, okay? It's singular because we're talking about only one person, so it's singular and feminine. The gender is female. So now let's say these examples. We have the teacher in English. In Spanish, we're going to say la maestra. La maestra. Okay. La, because we're talking about a girl. Okay. La maestra. Now we have the chair in English. In Spanish, we're going to say la silla, la silla, la silla, okay? Now we have the kitchen. In Spanish, we're going to say la cocina, la cocina, la cocina. Now we have the living room in English and Spanish. We're going to say la sala, la sala, la sala. Now 
Now we have the washing machine. In English and Spanish, we're going to say la lavadora, la lavadora, la lavadora. Now we have the television. In English and Spanish, we're going to say la televisión, la televisión, la televisión. This is a large version, but we also can say in the small version la tele, la tele as we say the TV in English, okay? La tele in Spanish. La tele. Now we have the radio in English. In Spanish, we're going to say la radio. La radio. La radio. Now we have the blender in English. In Spanish, we're going to say la licuadora. La licuadora, la licuadora. Now we have the mixer in English and Spanish. We're going to say la batidora, la batidora, la batidora. In English, we have the house. In Spanish, we're going to say la casa. La casa, la casa. In English, the pool. In Spanish, la alberca, la alberca, la alberca. Now I have the girl. In English, in Spanish, we're going to say la niña, la niña. La niña. Now we have the dog. This is a female doggy, so we're going to say in Spanish, la perra, la perra, la perra. Now we have the cat. In Spanish, we say la gata, la gata, la gata. Now we have the moon. In English, in Spanish, we're going to say la luna, la luna, la luna. And also we have the witch. In English, in Spanish, we're going to say La bruja, la bruja, la bruja. And now we have the highway. In English, in Spanish, we're going to say la carretera, la carretera, la carretera. Now let's go to our next definite article in Spanish, okay? We have los, los, los. When are we going to use los? When we're talking about male. We are having male gender, but plural, okay? So when we're talking about male, plural, male gender, and plural, we're going to use our definite article in Spanish, los. Los. Let's see some examples. Here we have the cars in English, okay? In Spanish, we're going to say los carros. Los carros. Los carros. Okay, it's plural form and the gender is masculine. And we're talking about plural. The number is plural, okay? Now we have in English the teachers. In Spanish, we're going to say los maestros, los maestros, los maestros. Okay, we're having males and females. That's why we say los maestros, okay? If we only had girls, then we will say las maestras. And if we only had 
males, then we would say the same, los maestros, okay? Now in English, we have the notebooks. In Spanish, we're going to say los cuadernos, los cuadernos, los cuadernos. In English, we say the days. In Spanish, we're going to say los días, los días, los días. In English, we say the books. In Spanish, we're going to say los libros, los libros, los libros. In English, we say the cats. In Spanish, we're going to say los gatos, los gatos, los gatos. In English, we say the dogs. In Spanish, we're going to say los perros, los perros, los perros. In English, we say the bills. In Spanish, we're going to say los billetes, los billetes, los billetes. In English, we say the banks. In Spanish, we're going to say los bancos, los bancos, los bancos. In English, we say friends. In Spanish, we're going to say los amigos, los amigos, los amigos. If we're talking about a group of male friends. In English, we say the police officers. In Spanish, we're going to say los policías, los policías, los policías. In English, we say the doctors. In Spanish, we're going to say los doctores, los doctores, los doctores. In English, we say the lawyers. In Spanish, we're going to say los abogados, los abogados, los abogados. That's because we are having male and also females. But if we only had females, then we will say las abogadas, las abogadas. And if we had a group of boys only, then we will say los abogados, los abogados. Now, in English, we say the engineers. In Spanish, we're going to say los ingenieros, los ingenieros, los ingenieros. If we are talking a group of boys and girls, if we were only having girls, then we will say las ingenieras. And if we had a group of boys, only boys, then we will say los ingenieros again, okay? Now we have the students. In English, in Spanish, we will say los estudiantes, los estudiantes, los estudiantes, the students. Now we have the kids. In English, in Spanish, we're going to say los niños, los niños, los niños. We are talking about a group of girls and boys. That's why we say los niños. If we had only a group of girls, then we will say las niñas. And if we only have a group of boys, then we will say the same, los niños, okay? Okay. 
Now we have the babies in English and Spanish. We're going to say los bebés, los bebés, los bebés. Now let's go to our last definite article in Spanish, okay? This definite article is las, las. When we're going to use it, when we're talking about plural form, plural number, and when we are having female, okay? When we want to give the noun a female gender, then we're going to use las, las. Plural feminine, femenino. Plural. So let's see these examples. We have the apples in English. In Spanish, we're going to say las manzanas. Las manzanas. Las manzanas. Okay, it's plural form and the gender is female. The teachers, okay, in English and Spanish, we're going to say las maestras, las maestras, las maestras, because we're talking about only a group of girls, okay? The gender is female, number, plural. Now we have the stars in English and Spanish, we're going to say las estrellas, las estrellas. Las estrellas. Now we have the students. In English, we're going to say the students. In Spanish, we're going to say las alumnas. Okay, because all of them are females. So we're going to say in Spanish las alumnas. Las alumnas. Las alumnas. Now, in English, we're going to say the words. In Spanish, we're going to say las palabras. Las palabras. Las palabras. In English, we say the classes. In Spanish, we're going to say las clases. Las clases. Las clases. In English, we're going to say the hours. In Spanish, we're going to say las horas, las horas, las horas. In English, we're going to say the mornings. In Spanish, we're going to say las mañanas, las mañanas, las mañanas. In English, we say the cookies. In Spanish, we're going to say las galletas, las galletas, las galletas. In English, we say the hands. In Spanish, we're going to say las manos, las manos, las manos. In English, we're going to say the chairs. In Spanish, we're going to say las sillas, las sillas, las sillas. In English, we say the nails, nails, okay? In Spanish, we're going to say las uñas, las uñas, las uñas. In English, we say the clouds. In Spanish, we're going to say las nubes, las nubes, las nubes. In English, we're going to say the tables. In Spanish, we're going to say las mesas, las mesas, las mesas. 
So that would be all for today's lesson. I really hope it has been clear for you. If it's not, then I recommend you to rewatch the video as much times as you need. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.